Hey, great to see you. Today, the 15th of March, we are praying for the persecuted church. As I was reflecting on this, I paused when I thought through 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and thinking on Paul's writing on how the church works together. And this is what it says. It says, the eye cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. On the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. Just hold that for a minute, indispensable. And the parts we think are less honorable, we treat with special honor. The parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty. Indispensable, special honor, special modesty. Well, our presentable parts need no special treatment, but God has put the body together, giving greater honor to the parts that lacked it. So there should be no division in the body, but that its parts should have equal concern for each other. This was where I started. If one part suffers, every part suffers. But when I read back, I realized the weight that Paul is putting on how we think of those that feel at the, are weaker, that, that deserve, that feel less honorable in the way they've been treated, and those that at the moment may look unpresentable, we have a responsibility to do something about that. Because when one part suffers, every part suffers. And when one part rejoices, everyone rejoices. And then he hits with verse 27. Now you are the body of Christ and each one of you is part of it. I've always loved the verses, the connectivity, the, the reliance on one another. But when we turn our attention to the persecuted church, these verses carry a weight that probably I hadn't considered properly. These are the figures for 2021 as posted by Open Doors. They make for sobering reading and listening. Over 340 million Christians live in places where they experience high levels of persecution discrimination. 4,761 Christians were killed for their faith last year. 4,488 churches and Christian buildings were attacked. 4,277 believers detained without trial, arrested, sentenced, or imprisoned. These brothers and sisters, their situation seems to be weaker. They are indispensable. Those who seem that their world is less honorable, we have to do something to treat them with special honor. Those whose situations seem unpresentable should be treated with special modesty. We should have equal concern for one another. Tonight, if you're on the premium and watching this before seven o'clock, join us as a great friend of mine who leads CSW um, is going to be with us to talk about some of this and help us to pray. Mervyn Thomas is a wonderful man of God. I hear reports from Merv of believers in nations facing persecution say they are praying for those of us in the west that we get that revelation of jesus i find it humbling and challenging so let's pause in all we're doing and focus our prayers and attention on the parts of the body of christ that are suffering today and catch god's heart expressed by paul that there should be no division in the body and that we should have equal concern for one another. As you pray today, let's believe God is working miraculously and powerfully around the world. Have a wonderful day.